Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! And I would like to thank my subscribers and my viewers for supporting me. I hope you will still support me by viewing my next videos and also sharing to others. Today, we are going to talk about the air purifying plants. According to LeafreePlace.com, as our home become more insulated and efficient, they also make easier to trap indoor air pollutants, chemicals like benzene, formaldehyde, and ammonia, which can come from our household items and um, pollutants and pollute our home's atmosphere without any visual warning. Neglecting the quality of the air we breathe on a daily basis could result serious consequences. Illness, allergies, asthma, and frequent headaches are just a few many um, inconveniences that come from airborne particles that are floating around our home. Air pollution is also one of the reasons that um, can affect our digestive system. Indoor pollution is the seemingly harmless nature of its many sources uh, like the glues, the adhesives, the carpets, especially the new ones, chemicals in household cleaners, that's why we need to create our own household cleaners uh, so that uh, we can avoid the um, or, or we can avoid the pollution in our house and by using only the natural cleaning um, materials. Wow! And also foam uh, insulation materials, paint, pressed wood products, plywood, uh, particle board, and the uh, medium density uh, fiber board and um, poor indoor quality has been linked to health problems especially in children yet leafyplace.com leafy added that there's no need to dash out hundreds of dollars to uh, expensive appliances if we have mother nature wow. so uh, it is true um, adapting indoor plants as air purif purifying. The following are the examples of air purifying plants. First example is Samucoccus samifolia or zizi plant. It is one of the toughest indoor plant. It tolerates low light. It doesn't need to be watered frequently. Second is Aglonema is a genus of flowering plants in the Arum family or Araceae. They are native to tropical and subtropical regions of Asia and New Guinea. As cited by Epic Gardening Com, Aglonema, also called Chinese Evergreen, is a colorful favorite in China where it is considered lucky. Native to China and the Philippines, these leafy tropicals are easy care of house plants with foliage that is combination of white, dark green, pink, and other colors. Third example is Sansevieria trifasciata, others called it mother in lost tongue, also known as snake plant. It has a thick vertical sword shaped leaves. It removes the toxins like benzene, formaldehyde for our home according to Epic Gardening Com. Fourth example are the ferns. A recent study by Case and colleagues tested 86 species of house plants from five general classes for their ability to remove formaldehyde. In their experiments, ferns has the highest formaldehyde removal efficiency of all the plants tested, especially Ismonda japonica, commonly known as Japanese royal fern. Our fifth example is Pati phylum, a genus of about 47 species of monocotyledons, flowering plants in the family of Araceae, native to tropical regions of Americas and southeastern Asia. 
Certain species of Spatiphyllum are commonly known as spath or peace lilies. Sixth example is this Asplenium nidos or bird's nest. Some scientists say houseplants are effective natural air purifiers and the bigger and the leafier the plant, the better. The amount of leaf surface area influences the air purification, says Bill Wolverton, a former research, NASA research scientist. This Asplenium nidos is a pathetic species known as the bird's nest fern that can be grown indoors. Our seventh example is Areca palm or Chrysalidocarpus intessens, a cute indoor palm tree or garden box. Next is golden pothos. It is considered one of the best indoor plants to purify the air, removing common toxins such as formaldehyde, xylene, and benzene. Peperomia plant. According to Thes Proscom by Jami McIntosh and reviewed by Debra Lagatuta, it belongs to a wonderful genus of tropical plants native to Mexico, South America, and the Caribbean. With more than 1,000 known species, these hearty plants boast thick, fleshy leaves that contribute to their drought tolerance and vigor. Our tenth example of air purifying plant is Dresena marginata, is a superb indoor plant. Adapts well to, uh, to living indoors in our apartments and homes. It grows best when surrounding temperatures hold at around 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit or to 20 to 22 degrees centigrade and requires very good light, according to Marley Graves, interior landscaper. Thanks for watching and uh, that's all for today. I hope that you like my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share to others if you think it can help them. God bless, stay safe and see you on my next video. Bye bye.